Hi guys, this is Michael from ectodump.com and I just want to do a quick little toy review. I know it's a little late since this has been out for a while, but Toy Story 3 is coming out so I thought it might still be relevant. I wanted to review the Toy Story Collection Woody, which I have right here. And he's supposed to be the most accurate Woody they can ever make, or at least you can ever get. When I was five, which is when Toy Story came out, the Woody doll was, he was fat. He didn't look anything like the toy in the movie, and I was pretty disappointed with it, even though it was five. But this is pretty accurate. He's got a little stand here. One thing I don't like about the stand, though, is this isn't very flexible. It's pretty solid, so it creates little dents in the neck a little bit, but that's only if you keep it in or put it in take it out for a long time. But, uh... It's pretty solid. Let me stand back so you can get a look at him. He's not fat. He's skinny. The waist and the legs look just like they do in the movie. The arms are pretty flexible. The My biggest gripe with this toy is the arms can do this. They can't go up at all, which in the movie they can. I guess that's not really that big of an issue. It's just mostly a nitpick, but still. Um, the hat's pretty accurate. It's got two little holes back there, which isn't accurate, but that's for that's a safety precaution. So if the child puts it up against their mouth like that, they don't suffocate. And as you can see, the hair is really accurate as well, which is really nice. The another thing I like a lot about this is the box, which is this. You never get to see Woody's box in either of the movies, but you get to see the prospectors. And his looks like this, so it's in the same style as his. It's just as if it was Woody's, so for this giant Toy Story Collection logo. And it's really nice. It's got a little Woody's Roundup image back there. Uh, exact same thing on this side, except a star door. And on the back, just got a little bit of information on them. Nice little art, which is the same as the uh, cardboard stand-up in Toy Story 2. And yeah, I do have the certificate, but it's uh, in the box. I'm too lazy to take it out, but you can see it uh, right there. Looks like that, just bigger. Not really that exciting. It's just a printout and not really John Lasseter's real signature. But I'm pretty happy with this toy. It's really nice. The Another gripe I have is because it can or you can talk to it and he'll respond, except the controls are all the way back here and you have to take this out, uh, which is his chest piece, and that gets pretty annoying, so I just leave it on the display mode or the demo mode, but it seems like you only get real witty responses when he's in the on mode, because I get responses like this. And when he's on the on mode, it's responses like, there's a snake in my boot, or things about the watering hole and stuff like that, which is what the old Woody toy used to do. But if I leave it in the on mode, he'll respond to any noise and will probably drain the battery really fast. But other than that, he's a really great toy. I say he's worth the $50. I've seen him for less, though. Some targets carry him and the Toy Story Collection Buzz Lightyear, which I have right here, and... I'll be doing a separate review for this too. Uh, I've seen them at a Target I used to work at for $35, and you can probably find them other places too. And $35 is totally worth it, even for $50, just because of the quality of the fabric, jeans, and it at least looks like real denim. And, oh, no Andy under either of the boots, but I guess that's okay since it's supposed to be a replica of the toy and not really Andy's toy. So, yeah, but besides that, uh, he's pretty great, and I'll, like I said, I'll be doing more reviews of the Buzz Lightyear, and I have the Maddie Collector Ghostbusters Egon Spangler 12-inch figure, so I'll be doing a review of that too. Alright, so, buy it, it's worth it, and there's a lot more Toy Story 3 collection toys coming out, like, I know the Toy Story 3 collection Mr. Potato Head is finally out, and I've been waiting for that for a long time. There's the... Oh, lots of Huggin' Bear from Toy Story 3 is coming out. He smells like strawberries, apparently. And Jesse and Bullseye are finally coming out pretty soon, so that's pretty exciting. All right.
Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review.